Hello, we are team one and we're here to review with you our power box initiative. Next slide, please. Here are our team members. I'm Victor and I'll be presenting first. Next. Our agenda today, we're gonna to talk about our high impact question. We'll get into some recommendations to address that question and then we'll talk about our proposed solutions. Next slide, please. Specifically, we're going to be addressing micronutrient deficiency in pregnant and potentially pregnant women. Uh, and even more specifically, we're looking at folic acid deficiency among pregnant women. This is an important topic because folic acid is required, particularly early in pregnancy, in order to prevent significant birth complications, including development of neural tube defects, which can be highly complex for everyone involved. Um, in that situation. So currently the Pittsburgh Food Bank does not have a program in place to prioritize the needs of pregnant women and potentially pregnant women receiving food. So that's the gap that we're trying to fill with this initiative. Next slide, please. As you can see here, there are multiple micronutrients pregnant women need. We're focusing on folic acid. Next, please. Next up, we're going to talk about a proposal that we have for the Pittsburgh Food Bank. We're going to call it maternal power box now let's first describe it from a perspective of an, an expecting mother. Let's call her Jane. She's 26. She, um, her husband works two jobs to provide for the family and she probably also works several part-time jobs. Now Jane, two months into her pregnancy, she go to the doctors, got a brochure about the food bank and heard about this special program and got herself enrolled. Now what's going to happen is that every two weeks, she will receive two boxes of food, specially prepared to suit her need. Now, there's also a flyer that's in the box to teach her, uh, you take this food and make it in this way to help your baby. Now, Jen would think this is great because it not only saves me the money buying those food, it also saves me the time to gather the information and go to the grocery store. Now, I'm more confident that I'm doing all I can to prepare to bring this healthy little angel into the world. Now, what does that look like from the food bank's perspective? Now, we talked about it. There are three steps. You want to get people to sign on. You want to um, improve the supply chain to make sure you get all the ingredients. And you also want to use the established services, whether it's delivery or the hundreds of partner agencies all over Pittsburgh to distribute the food. And we ballpark the extra cost from this power box program. Now we think the, the extra costs mainly come from, we wanna purchase particular types of food for maybe $10 a box. And we, there is a distribution cost and education material. So every box would probably incur $16. Now we say for a nine months program, for one pregnant woman, that would cost around $288. Now, let's say we get 100 people to sign on in year one, then that would be a budget of around 30 grand. Next slide, please. For our recommendation part two, we are talking about collaboration. So this is a whole new initiative for Pittsburgh Food Bank. So we want collaboration from multiple uh, agencies to come up with those uh, donation of certain types of food for this sort of initiative. We are talking about public agencies. We're talking about medical facilities, nonprofit organizations and donor. Next slide, please. So we have already communicated with a person from uh, WIC, Emily Pater, who is the operation manager for WIC. And she has actually communicated that exactly this uh, dialogue what you can see that WIC is happy to provide any food nutrition related information to help the food bank develop a selection of foods also happy to refer expecting mother going their way to the food bank special program also working closely with WIC family and children health and hello neighbors can also be good partners to get the words out and increase expecting mothers to sign on to this program of food bank next slide All right, coming down to exploring funding opportunities, we've recognized a few organizations of interest who might be more willing to invest in our uh, project and actually contribute to the initiatives that we have set forth uh, before. And you can see two of uh, the organizations of uh, particular noteworthy interest is the Heimar Foundation and the Jewish Healthcare Foundation, given the over and above contribution that uh, other such organizations have uh, done 
and it's to be noted that all these organizations share a similar interest and view on this particular topic. And here is our flyer example in Power Box. People don't know how to cook the salmon, so we can give them specific steps about how to use the food from Food Bank. And this suggestion also came from our interview with Kelly Leek, Community Engagement Coordinator at Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. Next slide. And finally, this is an overview of our solution. We can see that uh, there's four uh, significant phases. That's the prediction and identification of target people, the budget uh, coming up with the low cost alternatives, given that our initiative is not going to impact the cost outlay of the uh, Pittsburgh Food Bank significantly. And then third, we're going on to the marketing and actually getting people to reach out to our program. And finally, it's coordinating with the different organizations that we laid before. Finally, we are concluding our presentation by this slogan, what we believe that our maternal power box will keep. Power box makes you and your babies powerful. So this is our, our presentation. Hope you will like it.